Exercise is something that is very important to me. You know, seeing as I've been working out for about, you know, a little over two years now, it's definitely something that I believe I'm going to stick to uh, on a consistent basis for practically the rest of my life. And I say this because it's given me so many benefits, uh, you know, so many b benefits uh, outside of even just my physical fitness. Of course, it's, it's definitely approved, like the way I look, you know, how I perform on a day to day basis. But it's also just performed my own mental abilities, my own mental capabilities, uh, my mental health, things like that, emotions and whatnot. Uh, working out is definitely a good outlet, um, you know, for like very strong emotions. And that's definitely helped me a lot uh, throughout the years. Before I started working out, I would I would work out here and there, but I wouldn't really train hard. I didn't know how to train properly or train hard in any way. And I wouldn't be consistent with it. I might have like a month or two months where I'm working out consistently and then I'm I'm not I'm not doing anything after that because I just kind of fell out the habit. And plus like I didn't really gain anything from any of those training sessions because I didn't know how to train hard. So it was like I was kind of just <laughs> I don't know, wasting my time as well. Um, but, you know, we, let's say the times where, you know, I wasn't working out, I wasn't taking care of myself. I knew I was more inclined to a lot more depressive thoughts. I was very anxious. I was very, um, what's the word? I was very antisocial, I would say. In general, in general, I would say that I'm kind of like, you know, a person who is a bit more on the antisocial side, but, you know, with having increased levels of like anxiety, that didn't help at all. And, um, you know, I would just be nervous in a lot, in just a lot of situations. But when it came to me taking care of my fitness, my, you know, my energy levels went up, my confidence levels went up. You know, I don't, I'm not usually prone to any sad or depressive thoughts. And, um, you know, I'm a lot more confident and I'm a lot more sociable. That's definitely one thing. And in general, lifting, working out, or I say lifting, but, you know, just exercise in general, it's helped me become just a better person in general. There, there were times where I would, you know, go back on a lot of things I would do. I wasn't as dedicated to a lot of stuff. And I just went about life kind of halfway kind of just mediocre but when it came to training it was something that I dedicated a lot of time and thought and energy to that I kind of wanted to perfect how I would work out basically and that kind of had some carryover to the rest of my life so now at work I take my job more seriously in school I take school more seriously relationships um you know just even my own self and problems that I have right you know, I just want to become a much better person throughout. I want to be, you know, just a person who can motivate and can, you know, influence others to do great things. And so far, that's kind of how it's been. Like, you know, me at working out has uh, inspired a lot of my friends to, you know, be more consistent with their exercise. And I'm just kind of happy to see that because, you know, something so little, uh, you know, took me so far, right? If only... I maybe started working out sooner or something like that. That's what I think sometimes that, you know, maybe I could be a lot farther, but all things happen for a reason. You know, maybe not everything's going to happen as early as you might have wanted it to, but you just have to take things how they are. I remember there were times, you know, where I would be consistent with exercise and I would stop because I got like sad or whatever. And, um, you know, I would just kind of be one of those people where if I were to get sad or get like, you know, kind of in somewhat of a depressive state, I would just stop everything I'm doing and like just stop being productive in general. And my dad, you know, he would want me to work out. My dad, my dad is a, a you know, has been working out, I think, all my life practically. And he would always urge me to exercise and whatnot uh, because he already knew the benefits, but I didn't want to because I, I guess I thought the idea that oh, you know, taking care of your physical would improve your mental was stupid. Like somehow I thought that like your mental and your physical don't correlate. And like, 
I need to sit and wallow in my sadness in order for me to feel better to do anything physical, which is, you know, a stupid train of thought. It's a kind of dumb because your brain is within your body. And if you're not taking care of what's holding your brain, which is your body, then how can you expect your brain to do any better, right? So if I had probably stayed more consistent and again, the food I was eating at the time, you know, if I was eating better, cleaner food, if I was more conscious of what I was putting into my body, then my mind would also perform a lot better. Because just think about if you go your entire life eating junk food or processed foods and you don't exercise, you don't move a lot, you're sitting in your car, you're sitting in your house, you're, you know, sitting at work, whatever, right? You know, you're going to tend to feel horrible, even like staying indoors, right? For the most part, you know, with our Western lives, we, we tend to stay more indoors. So therefore, we don't get any type of sunlight throughout the day. And of course, like sunlight can improve your mood. So just imagine you're not taking in nature, you're not doing the physical things that your body has evolved to do. And you're not eating, you know, clean or clean enough to make an impact, then of course, you're going to feel horrible physically and mentally, you know, throughout your life. And I didn't, that, that's something I didn't understand. That's something I had to learn on my own. It was just kind of one of those things where like, I didn't want to listen to what my dad had to say, because maybe, you know, I was in more of that rebellious phase. But like, if I listened to him sooner, I'd probably be, you know, better off. But, you know, that's just the teenager thing. That's just the kid thing. One big thing I was going through at the time was like a breakup. And um, it hurt me really bad. And I started working out. I, I started going towards working out. That would kind of motivate my workouts for the time being. I guess it was a long enough motivation to show results. And once I got results, at some point, of course, I got over that uh, that breakup and by seeing the results, it motivated me further to keep going and to reach higher and higher standards within like, you know, my strength and just my performance and my looks, of course. And, you know, it, it became more of a self-improvement journey than just me doing it because, you know, I wanted to, I don't know, like show up a, a, an ex-partner or something like that. Um, you know, now it's like something completely different. Now it's like, I want to be on the path of just becoming just a better person in general, not just like, you know, a better version of me, but a, you know, a better brother, a better uh, family member, a better son, you know, setting myself up for, you know, having a great family, being a better student, just things like that. I just want to, in general, just achieve a much higher form of myself. And I feel like, you know, the earlier I start, the more uh, information I try and take in, things like that. And applying that information, you know, I feel like I'd be a, of a great use to, you know, the people around me and whatnot. I started working out in my senior year of high school. And so, of course, I saw results there. My friends saw results. People around me saw results. Girls saw results. So, of course, that definitely boosted my confidence a lot. I was walking, you know, with a more prouder chest, standing taller. Uh, I became more confident, things like that. And I just saw like how my life around me changed, even like just the people uh, around me changed, you know, before when I was like flabby and, you know, a bit like soft. I'm not going to say unremarkable, but when I was worse or off, I would say, you know, you know, people did, did acted a bit more cruel. People maybe acted just like as if you weren't there, but you know, when you started that superhero transformation, you know, people start to recognize you and you start to stand out more and people start to gravitate towards you, you know, within the room. Uh, and I, it was just very interesting seeing that shift. And I'm not at all like, <laughs> they didn't like me when I was like fat and unmotivated and, and lazy. Like I'm not, I'm not that type of person, right? I put in the hard work. And the hard work is showing its results, just not throughout my physical self, but throughout the world around me. And that's very interesting. That's one thing to take advantage of. But that's another thing to not um, get consumed by it entirely to become like some type of selfish person, you know, and, and who tries to take advantage of others just because of the way you look. 
Uh, but yeah, I remember I started working out. First thing I got was a pair of dumbbells. And my motivation was just to like, it was practically, it's kind of cringe. But it was like to make sure that <laughs> that basically my ex couldn't upgrade, right? You know, so it was kind of already within the mindset of I'm going to be the best I can be. Um, but it was within the spirit of making sure that my ex, you know, doesn't find another person who's better than me, basically. Um, and then it just became just general self-improvement and just me wanting to become, you know, better. And, you know, since I started working out in my senior year of high school, um, I took a gap year after high school. And a lot of that time was spent me educating myself, me trying to find ways to just become better, uh, you know, trying to find ways to limit my use of technology, finding ways on just how to be just in general, like more sociable as well, because I feel like I did really struggle with, uh, you know, my social aspects, just being a person who can be a bit more outspoken and whatnot. Um, and then I did read, I read a lot more books. I actually started to read, to pick up books and read books, you know, without having it be like a part of an assignment or anything like that. And I was kind of like, it was nice. It was nice actually attaining like knowledge on my own. And of course, trying to apply this knowledge. I was also working uh, during that senior year of high school and on my jobs, uh, I, I worked at a Chick-fil-A and at my job, I noticed, uh, I started to, I, I would say perform better at my job. Um, I definitely had more energy and, um, I started to become just a bit more outspoken, uh, when it came to my coworkers. Cause I was always kind of like that quiet person that no one really knew at work. Um, but you know, once I started to kind of get used to my own surroundings, and I started to have more energy because of my workouts. I, I was able to become, you know, more sociable, of course. I'm probably gonna, I probably said sociable like 15 times already uh, in this video. But of course, I still kept going. I kept going. You know, it was almost an obsession. Maybe it still is an obsession. You know, something I think about every day. I think about, you know, just wanting to work out, just wanting to be active. It's something that goes through my mind a lot and like how I can improve. What workout programs can I do? How am I going to work out today? You know, things like that, right? Because it's fun for me. It's fun. It's enjoyable. This doesn't take m much motivation or discipline um, because it's something that I enjoy and it's something that I look forward to doing every day, right? Uh, I, I would consider myself an artist. I do draw. I animate. I draw characters. And that's something that I enjoy to do. And I feel like it doesn't take much motivation it just takes you know time for me to kind of sit down and just kind of like with a blank sheet of paper until something comes out and you know th these things in my life don't require me to have to you know get up early in the morning and then make myself you know drive to some place where I clock in and then I clock out whatever right you know these things for me at least for you know not the time being they're not in general a job so it doesn't feel like work is is happening it doesn't feel like you know, some type of soul crushing experience from a basic regular nine to five.